Good morning. God bless your faith. It's Brother James here. This is a beautiful story. Then Jesus went there and departed into the coasts of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coasts and cried unto him, saying, Lord, have mercy on me. Sorry, have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Demon, really. And he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent unto I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. It's amazing. Where do you see this? <clears throat> but he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as you will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Wow, this woman had great faith. Jesus said it, O woman, great is your faith, be it unto thee even as you will, as you desire. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Isn't that beautiful? And Jesus didn't initially didn't want to do it. Because it said that the Jews are first. But she persisted. And she worshipped Jesus back there, you can see. And this is what happened. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Now Mark, in Mark we have another version of this, which is much the same. Just a bit more detail. Let's see, where is it now? Yeah, the Greek, she's a Greek woman. Now, here we go. Yes, a Greek woman, a Greek woman's faith. And from hence he arose and went into the border of the and Simon entered into the house. Yes, he entered into a house and would not, and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. These people were mad after him. For a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, or Gentile actually, that's... If you see the footnote, it says Gentile there, where is it? Gentile. Mm, my finger. Yeah. Gentile. Right? So where were we? Excuse me. This phone here. Sorry, this phone. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so uh, he could not be hid. For a certain woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him. And came and fell at his feet. This woman worshipped Jesus. The woman was a Greek, a, Syroph a, a, a Gentile, a Syrophoenician by nation. And she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the, let the children first be filled. For it is not good to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. And she answered and said, unto him yes lord yet the dogs under the table eat of their of the children's crumbs and he said unto her for this saying go thy way the devil is gone out of thy daughter and when she was come to her house she found the devil gone out and her daughter laid upon the bed in other words her daughter was healed so Jesus was touched. What did he say here? She worshipped him. She worshipped Jesus and didn't get insulted. She didn't feel insulted. She persevered through that. And he said unto her, For this saying, but because what she said, Go your way, the devil is gone after your daughter. Isn't that beautiful? And the Bible says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. So according to your faith, be it done unto you, whoever's listening. And me as well, even. This is for me as well. So encouraging. God bless your faith.
Brother James here. Listen to this a few times and don't let the devil steal it. Brother James here. God bless you. Bye-bye.